It's a red wine vinegar. Now this thing here is like 48 weeks old. See how it is? Mm -hmm. Yeah, from that to that to this. See how narrow it is? Listen. <laughs> Hard like rock. Okay. Now, when you hang these things, it's got to be cool. 40, 40 to 50 degrees. Look at that. Mm, yeah. mm. Yummy. Yeah. Very good. Try not to waste the pepper. I don't waste stuff. I, <laughs> everybody knows I don't like to waste stuff. <laughs> I do. Don't like oh, worry about it. Hey. Now, here, look. Watch this. Watch this. Aguarte que esta acá. Why? Why? That's nice, so uh, look at that. Uh, <laughs> okay, and that's what you get. What you get. Now, you got to remember what I did here. Okay. <laughs> what Teddy's going to do is he's going to slice them up, put them on plates, and we're going to pass them out, let you have some kind of judge. Don't drink too much wine and then taste it. Because well, what happened? You're confused. It's like that. <laughs> we have to cleanse our palate. <laughs> we have to cleanse our palate. Wine. Wine? Well, you can drink the wine and coffee afterwards, but what you see on them papers is almost what I'm doing. Really. Now, here's what we got here. Look. Pepper. Put in a nice pan like this. Nice hot pepper. This is the garlic. Okay. For those of you a little. Now ah, look, watch. Yes, see? All the cracks. Remember the cracks. Forget the cracks. Hey, you see how I rub these butts, boy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm rub this in real, real good. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to just flip it like this in the pepper. Look, see how nice that looking? Real, real nice. Try to dry it with all the pepper. Really, really, really looking good. This is a nice piece of butt. And you're going to really enjoy the taste about six to eight weeks. There, I kind of I hate wasting stuff. Okay. Oh, man. Now, what I'm going to do is sometimes I let it set a day or two. The fan blowing in it. Temperature has to be between 40 and 50 degrees. Nice airy place. Maybe even a fan blowing. So well, you know, you'll get to see the thing actually start getting hard and dry. Then what I normally do is I take a bag. Well that one's ripped I Take a bag like this. Put this thing in here, like that, and just kind of roll that around, nice and tight and firm. You take this kind of string, it's, uh, it's just uh, a, a rope, kind of a uh, rope string, and I kind of go like that with the first one. And this top one, what I do is I make this top one a little longer, and you're going to see why. I do it like this, I tie it in a knot, and I cut this end off, 
and I usually bowl them together like this and kind of I just see that now it hangs like this now I take another one and put it at the top and what this helps do it helps form form the thing too in a tighter fashion so uh, it looks more round and compact oblong Do this. I you got to remember, as it shrinks, as it shrinks, it gets smaller and smaller, so smaller and smaller. And what I knew to do is I take a little precaution. I uh, give a little attention to the rope. Like that. And like this. Oh, see, this one already came loose. Why? No. I probably only put one bow in it, not the second one. There you go. And then I go this way. I kind of tie it at the bottom with the last piece of string here that's down. And now what we got here is. There you go. Hang it on the nail. You write the dates down. This is uh, first. This is the twenty twenty uh, third, two thousand eleven. Write the date down. That kind of tells you how long you're going to keep this thing before you take it down. Got it. And you could every once in a while you can feel it, you'll feel it getting harder. But I like to do at least once a week. I take a little bit of white vinegar and I just squirt it, squirt it a little bit. And uh, what that does is it keeps any bugs or little mice or whatever it's called up there that can smell the meat to get into it. Now you can see. You always got to work nice and clean. That's a good part of it too. Work nice and clean. Uh, I soaked this here in uh, wine vinegar for about three or four days. So I took it out, I dried it off, garliced it, peppered it, hanging in the bag. And I, I thank you very much for coming. And. Uh, I hope to see you at the next demonstration. We also have some other things going on. Once a month we have a big buffet upstairs and we try to get that off the ground with all kinds of uh, <clears throat> in-house cooking. Uh, so thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it and I'll catch you again.